And we're live. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is game eight of the second round of the Root Winter Tournament. My name is Garrick. This is Lily. Hello. Uh, our competitors today are none other than Over the Morrow. Hello to chat. Hello to me to the future. You're up too late. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Red's Toad. Have you been prepared for this? You just have a hello. <laughs> Demonic. Yeah. Howdy. And Jeremy S. Hey, folks. <laughs> Thank you uh, for those hellos or whatever they were. Uh, <laughs> uh, the draft has been dealt. Y'all know where to find me if you need me. So everyone, good luck. Have fun. Uh, remember to breathe. And uh, take it away. Thank you, Gary. <clears throat> All right. All right. I lied. Three of them have wonderful accents. <laughs> <laughs> Map choice. Okay, so the game chose violence. Do I read this card? Am I picking first? Uh, well, map needs to be chosen. So what's it? N net. What's it? Jeremy. Who's net good? Red. I'm gonna make a note of that for myself. <laughs> so Jeremy, I think is that you? You get to choose. I think you're red, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. I'm red. Choose. It's Jeremy. You pick the map. All right. Will we see not mountain? No pressure. <laughs> nope, no pressure. Play statistics. Sorry, we'll, Winter or Lake. Yeah, we'll see Winter or Lake. We've not seen them at all in round two. Yes! Winter! <laughs> Winter map is best map. Winter map knows. is best map, according to Garrick. That is this true. Is like a fairly balanced board. I'm from the Northwest here. Can you see the Canada map again? We've got a Russian player, so the Winter map felt appropriate. <laughs> oh, thanks. I do appreciate no. the top corridor not being any spawn specific suit. Yeah. Um, actually, this is a fantastic map for lizards. <laughs> not good enough for badgers. I don't know about fantastic. Badgers. It's pretty good. I mean, ideally, one of those would be a bunny. That's true, badger, but. So... Moles. Okay. Too bad it's a. Uh... Moles. Moles, okay, okay. My first mm. round winning faction. Yeah. <laughs> I played as moles last time and I lost horribly. <laughs> Let's yeah. Do it this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, demonic going for the aggressive this setup. Is a pretty hard choice. Is that demonic? Actually, no. No, that that's is over the moral. I'm sorry. Like, no, yeah. demonic was saying that he won yeah, his yeah, first game with moles. Uh, I heard. I heard demonic saying that. And, and yes. Go ahead. I'll be eerie, yeah. I guess. Do moles ever not get picked? Yes, they do. Um, we've had, I think, three times where they were not picked in the draft first round. They get picked a lot. They were in 21 of the drafts. <laughs> So it's it's not um, it's. They're generally regarded as a powerful faction, so sure. there is incentive to pick them. But there's only two factions so far in the entire tournament who have always been picked, and that is Eerie and Lord of the Hundreds. Hmm. There we go. That'll do. Those two never have made it to the unchosen Done. box. Uh, but today could be the day. Nope. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> So which leader do we go? We can probably go charismatic with how red this game is. Yeah, charismatic's probably an easy one. Despot's so, dangerous here yeah, because of cats. Like I mean, there, there actually, there is a world where badgers and ranger get picked and charismatic turmoils turn one. That's possible too. No, no. I think there's a um, potential danger for all of these. Although they could put charismatic and still somehow be within range of moles. So pretty okay. much it to be over here. Yeah. You, you probably have to put a card in move, though. You would have to put two cards in move. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you have to be two plus away. Here. You just put six warriors into that. Is that Bruce? Oh, uh, yeah. Because here's the homeland. So okay. one, two. two. Okay. Yeah, stuff by Rudy Badgers probably won't get picked. But I'm just saying that's, these are things you have to think about in this draft. There's a. A world where you go charismatic and the table, you know, counters you by not picking cats. I will go for charismatic. All right, so we are going charismatic. Mm -hmm. It'll probably pay off. I, th I would agree. Um, I will say and also, it's... though, uh, I am really hoping so for badgers for because um, <laughs> they are the only faction in the draft that has yet to win in round two. Ah. Really uh, there's only four right factions there. that have yet to win in uh, round two. In fact, see. every other faction has yeah. won just once. I was so confident, I'm now like actually terrified. <laughs> yes! 
I picked the cat and I was like, do I want to be the Vagabond? Perhaps Vagabond, no. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. And Badgers actually, aren't going to get picked my ass. This is actually terrifying because Demonic is the only winner from round one in this game. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have feelings. Yeah. I have a lot of feelings. Grogra27, uh, Lily's website, makecraftgame.com. East. has a bunch of stats uh, for it does yeah if you there's a banner for the this tournament here um if you go into the stats there's a uh, turn there's stats for previous tournaments there's like a stats tab underneath game um but yeah check it out check it out um Kutari, I feel like it's... Oh, the setup slipped over. It's not the best, but um, oh, like it also is actually kind of an interesting choice because you like immediately people, migrate away from there while picking that up, so mm. then you only really have to worry about okay. the bottom half of the map. Being able to be in the corner makes this okay, I think. If yeah. Badgers had been stranded right here, that would have sucked. That would have been awful. But being able to have one in the corner means that this is not... Terrible. You can probably drop a way station there, get this early relic, and then leave the way station for car draw and, and move on or something. It, yeah, it's not. It's not terrible. It's not the worst. You, you can you can definitely do it. Cats are excellent. Cats yeah. or ranger. Yeah. This is it's a, a choice. interesting choice. I will say. I mean, cats get um, not chosen here. They will still be the most hated faction of unchosen because it'll be the third time they haven't been chosen in eight games. Have, like, been ever left in the draft. I was going to say, first seat cats are traditionally powerful. That's true, but winter but map. <laughs> more so, the mix of factions is going to be tough for cats. It's true. Yeah, it's true. There it is. Oh, you go with it. Uh, okay. Ranger's an interesting one. Been really interesting. Although, really, not a lot of space for anyone. Yeah, I think the cats would have just had to be. No. Yeah, yeah, stuff by Rudy. That's sort of what I was getting at. Yeah, That's I... the only place they could go down What's here that? in this corner. How you can yeah. start there when you have less actions and then move to the more dense part of the map when you have more actions. It, it, yeah, it, a... it works out well because of the corner play, though. <clears throat> right, right. It, it would be a lot worse if you were over here, but we said that already. We were but ourselves. this actually goes into the world that Garrick was previously talking about with Eerie Charismatic being a little difficult now. Yeah, this actually happened. I did not expect this. I did not expect this, but it actually happened. Now, the Badgers get to make a fun choice uh, of... Don't you, like, pick three cards? I was before yeah, yeah. putting them down. First player yeah, gets he done. Pressed, he pressed done. Choose yeah, your hand. Sorry, and then my bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was just prepping. Badgers, <laughs> it's, it's practice. <laughs> Badgers have an interesting choice here of well, do they move press, closer to Eerie target, and, and potentially become a target? I mean, Badgers don't like losing okay. Warriors. They don't have to. I could see other factions, like, you know, making that trade to keep them in the game. I don't think Badgers will want to do that. No, I don't think they want to do that either, but and now, don't it's a me. choice between going down and getting to that more condensed part of the map and going and down, down, down the tunnel. Uh, right, right. It, it, it does That's important. create a, a weird incentive where they don't want to come down here and do the thing they want to do. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But moving only one warrior into that box clearing to get the three surrounding that top to make it a very safe pick is not... A safe delve is not the worst thing in the world. Ranger is not no. Ranger. Ranger is not interested in questing. That is not what this Ranger is about. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Although really, Ranger should be interested in questing because those items are decent for questing. Yeah, those are those are. That's a very good starting mix for questing. Apologies. Is there a hot key for discarding a card? Uh, you probably should drag it. <laughs> You, you shouldn't like, be if for yeah. once you shouldn't be using it because you should be putting it in the deck. Yeah, because we aren't discarding. <laughs> I don't know how much of that was his actual tone and how much was just the accent. But I it, sounded, it was just the accent. It sounded so, so sassy. I think sassiness is is what is what? This nonsense. What? I mean, we shouldn't be seeing that. But why are you putting the tea away? I hope you have another one. I really hope you have another one because tea is a uh, key. Right, I mean, the, I the, the number one lesson we've learned from Vagabond games in this tournament is that Vagabond should always have a T. Always. Always, if they want to be competitive. Agreed. If they don't get that T, they do. T is key. It rhymes. T yeah. is key, and it does, in fact, rhyme. 
Great. Put your hand on the table. Uh, Jeremy, I think. That's... Yeah. And now right. we get out. Uh, yep. Now, now we have to get out of my room. <laughs> keep it going. No, keep get out of the room. This is this is this is this is not good. It's fine. No one else is here. No one saw anything. <laughs> Next, take it out of the room. Um. Greta Tep, you're right. The ranger is also not interested in friendship or swearing. There we go. There we go. Jeremy left. I am so bad at typing the password. <laughs> uh, I am not being let into a color. That is true. You're not. Wait. Patience is a virtue. That I do not have. I uh, want to um, turn off your HUD and turn on turns. Thank you. First Sadly, players here, so they can. Do we were not promoted yeah. until after the dice were deleted, so I cannot save them before leaving and then respawn them at random points in the game. <laughs> Who are we missing? Redstone. Uh, we are missing, yeah, Redstone. <laughs> Katari already feeling let down by the vagabond. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, this Vagabond doesn't want quests, friendship, or points. <laughs> How am I this bad at Only interest is violence. <laughs> All right. All right, real quick before we get going, could somebody do me a favor and hit start recording on the panel on the left? Thank you very much. Oh, wow, that, that's new. Um, the ranger's ability is, yes, to expend the torch to repair three items. Yep. And immediately end daylight. So you yes. want to do it last. Yeah, yes. play carefully. It was going to be a permanent record. <laughs> no. To be fair, uh, no, for the people who weren't playing carefully in round one, there still is a permanent record. Play it's called YouTube. Again. <laughs> there it is, joking around. And then it's going up on YouTube, so everyone can watch our mistakes and criticize us. There's a difference between seeing your game in, like, however many hours VOD and just seeing it in one picture. <laughs> Wait, how is it going to display it in one picture? Uh, it displays point curves. Oh, so it's that's Okay, speaking, yeah. That... Speaking of point curves, Vagabond has a null point value, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We're going to quest here now too, right? Well, that... I think that should have happened a while ago, but... but I... <laughs> I think Jeremy's struggling with TTS a little bit. Yeah, I think this is this does not seem like a TTS something that... Whatever. Hi, Squidmark. Thank you for distracting me. Hey, Squidmark. I just realized I've muted myself. I've been talking to myself for ages. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gary, do we need to change the uh, state of the, the Vagabond marker, or do we just leave it now? Because the stats have already started. Uh, it should be fine either way, although I would appreciate changing it to pink so it's just visually matching. Two? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks. All right, well, good luck, everyone. But do you want friendship? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is actually a really interesting quest. I love all the mice. Yeah, I mean, lots of mice. Yep. It's a crossbow torch quest, which is great for, for later because the ranger starts oh, with sorry, both of those. My boot, but I'm actually going to slip first. Escort and logistics help are not bad. I mean, this is this is kind of an interesting quest. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad start. Um, I hope that ranger unflips that boot because he did not use it to slip. But we'll see. Okay. We're exploring the ruin. So that'll be a point. And it's, it's a, bag. a bag. Hey, we could quest. We could quest right off the bat because we are in a mouse clearing. Actually, I I like questing right now. That that actually is a pretty good start. Because you're not going to aid anybody with no one there, but you could... But you could move. Yeah, I don't think the move is necessary because you're going to slip next turn. That's true. I'd just, I'd just quest. And then you have three refreshes next turn. Yeah, um, it doesn't seem like a bad way to start.
It's interesting. I wouldn't have thought that the ranger would be a good um, questing vagabond, but the more I think about it, the more I think, yeah, it's totally a great questing vagabond because it starts with such a good splay of items. I mean, pretty much any vagabond that starts with the, four the, items the is already... Is, I'm going to take the victory point. Okay, taking nice. the point. I, I think that's the right choice because yeah, then he true. would have to discard if he if he <laughs> drew because it's true. he would get two and then draw one at the end of the turn. That's fair, that's fair. <clears throat> I mean, can you actually do that? Haven't you spent your boot already? Nope. nope. No, no, he... He slipped. But he accidentally slipped. No, he didn't move. He, no, he I, the I slipped in. Yeah, I slipped okay. into him. He accidentally did the move. Oh, sort of Vagabond on stars. That. Yeah, Vagabond stars in the forest. Okay. Yes. My bag. Uh, that bag should be in the satchel right now. Uh, I also flipped my boot when I slipped by accident there. So, so don't forget to put your bag into the uh, satchel. They got it. And Squidmark, that it's is not Moro because... playing the the um the Vagabond. It is Jeremy. It is indeed. Morrow is playing moles. I just figured so you know. No <laughs> here, so I think that's my turn. Uh, but but what, what's the next quest? Yeah, yeah that would be helpful. <laughs> um, we mentioned this before, but let's mention it again. Uh, the only winner so, in this game right now is here. Demonic, oh, right? Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. <laughs> Sorry, I saw an error for the stats and I was trying to read it. Oopsie. Uh, so, if Demonic wins, then the other three are eliminated. If any of the other three win, then Demonic and that player will advance and the other two are eliminated. Was there an error in stats? Yeah, I don't know what it was saying. Though. That's why I was trying to read it, but you kept talking to me. Um, Squidmark, cats were the one left out of the draft. Left then, figure jewelry. Stuff by Rudy. They are open to being hit by Eerie, but I think that was kind of inevitable anyway, unless they'd gone the opposite direction over to Moles, which there's a good argument for, but uh, that's not what happened. So it's true. But at the same time, they do still have, they're not undefended, so it's maybe yes. not the, always the. the uh, okay. But that's also maybe bad in its own way, because then you might go hostile yeah, if you don't want to. Recruit. Well, this, this Vagabond clearly doesn't I care about friendship still, so. Won't recruit any. No. Okay, we saw two two encampments, which is always a delight. Yeah, I won't bother recruiting any. Um, <clears throat> craft, I will not craft, and then I will do my thing. All right, birds, uh, you need to battle. Where are you going? Probably battle Vagabond, because it's like the, the only place I can battle right now. Well, I mean, I'm going to move into that clearing, so I'm just wondering how you going to attack me. Okay, uh, so... You will be there... I'm not exactly Because I don't want sure. to be getting into war right now, and I will come back at you next turn. <laughs> that is understandable. Vagabond can always do with a kicking, but not with your hands. So can yeah, hands really? yeah, he can. Vagabond can always do a kicking. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. I'm just, so, I'm just exploring the woods. Don't worry about me. I'm going to move down here. Okay, okay. Actually, I, I don't need happening. to move all yeah. the way down there, to be honest. I need to Demonic move. was negotiating this movement. Well, understandable. No, I was more curious about um, if they were going to do... Uh, I didn't see which way stations were put where, so I wasn't sure if they were going for a bunny attempt for recovery or a mouse attempt for recovery. Um, like we're going and then I will battle and delve up here in this clearing for this relic. Ah, unfortunate. Three, I take it in. Do Without not... losing anything. I do not have to live off the land. Yeah, we're not going to uh, recover because of its uh, oh, value. Okay. Interesting we're not doing a move either. Battle. Wait, uh, <laughs> how does battle delve work? Because that's not what I thought. Because <laughs> there is no battle required, I can delve. Mm -hmm. still lose only... the, you still lose the Vizier vote. No, Vizier no, retainer. I, 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 I rule three clearance. Oh, yeah. I couldn't see the <laughs> way station. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a common one. Uh, I will say... Um, and delve and throw the master that's a problem. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Set the recording. Yeah, so... That's what the birds I can, you know, I've got two mouth battles, so be careful. <laughs> uh, real quick, before you hit done on your turn, could you reset the recording and start it again for me? Yes. Reset recording. Start recording. Thank you very much. Number Sorry about that. I wonder if changing the Vagabond color actually did mess it up. Where did the Vagabond VP Where did the Vagabond go? VP marker go? Oh. It is... Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Sorry guys, uh, uh, let me let me spawn a new one. Uh, because I think it's the wrong color. Anyway, I'll just draw my uh, 
Oh, at least one that didn't draw my three cards. Where can I get a VP marker? And then I think I had like 10 points, right? Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm sure no one could go back and check the record. <laughs> but also check ch Twitch chat. I can use an extra faction marker if that's not too janky. Uh, that won't work for recording. Oh, uh, fair. Bear with me while I delete all this stuff now. <laughs> So you are on two points. Honestly, I'd be happy if you just have the spirit Thanks. of the scoundrel in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the meeple behind for you. How's that? <laughs> to watch. I accept this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, overlord watching the fire, you know, watching the, the, the battlefield. Can I replace a mole with the scoundrel and just change his name to mole? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so then that's that, that done. I've lived the land. Yeah, gather retainers. So then I just draw. Uh, three cards. Better! Oh, now now they can hear you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. I got addled. I want it. So bad. Right. I will point out. Yeah, Coconut Tank, I think manual scorekeeping is the way. I'm, I'm was already doing that. <laughs> one of the T's in their uh, just in case. It seems safer. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm helping out the, the, the field here, you know? <laughs> Murger might need to be white. I, 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 to craft it, but I like, no. our canine probably told me, and I forgot. I would have I think what happened here. <laughs> yeah, well, like, my after the game. The best thing, but my only, basically, my only move is to add the uh, bird to move, so I don't turn alter one. That is a safe way to do it. Unfortunate not to get a build off though. Yeah. All right. I'm I, curious to see if they had. A, they, I'm assuming they didn't have card a uh, the decree. card matching the suit. Uh, no crafting, and now I resolve the decree. So I will recruit two meebles. Mouse card. I mean, clearly they couldn't have I because Badger stole anything. all the mouse cards, so. And I will bow. <laughs> I battle Badgers. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm battling you. you. Okay. That's a good idea, Steph Bagrity. Really. Maybe That's I should one. record these. Okay. <laughs> Minus two and battle. Maybe you're on a 2 2. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. A 3 0. That is brutal for Badgers. All right, that's the end of my decree. So... I'm going to move this scoundrel towards something more appropriate for his character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just uh, make him really big, too. And end my turn. Uh, All right. I place Warrior of the Barrow. Slow starting game for the Eerie. Surprise. Yeah, not getting that turn one build is going to be rough in the long run because it puts Why? them a turn behind on scoring pace. It's annoying me. Uh, I have no sweet ministers. Uh, I will reveal false or false orders, uh, a boot and a coin to sway Bridget. Okay, first turn one Bridget sway. Like to see it. Like to see it. Holding onto a coins. Very very promising in the long run. Mm -hmm. That does explain why over the morrow staked out this clearing right here because it's the only two slot bunny clearing on the map. It is the only two uh, slot bunny card. clearing on the map, which is very powerful. Yeah. And then end my turn. Right, gonna do good song. But now the bag should go back to the bag. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Oh, really? Is the ranger people always that tiny? So I'm going to aid. Is he tiny? I just feel small comparatively. Okay, so we're seeing some aiding here. I do like the aiding. I do like the aiding. I, I, I understand why we're not slipping now. I was not totally on board with the lack of slip. But... Did, did Jeremy forget to draw cards at the end of his turn? Yes. Because he should be at four, shouldn't he? That is correct. 
<laughs> I, know that. I know it's all that. <laughs> uh, so that aid was technically not legal. Uh, actually, you, you, you can't oh, even do that card. Did I go face up? Yes, but you can't use that card either. There it is. Uh, yeah, it has to be a boss. Oh, me. the suit. Uh, sorry, guys. No, you're okay. The two common uh, rules gaps for, for aiding. One, you have to exhaust an item. Two, the card has to match the, uh, the clearing that you're in. Okay, well, it looks like we got that one rectified. Yeah. I see that the first one a lot. I see the second one less often, but sometimes. It's actually just a cub. This isn't actually like a full-fledged ranger. It's just like a baby that's like trying to imitate his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I feel that. like the ranger got smaller. <laughs> right. It's sort of, look how tiny it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this ranger's real tiny. I like him. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, Arizad. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's just because people don't aid. Because in the um, non despot meta, I don't know if aiding really was something that people really <sighs> cared to do. They did it, but. Not a ton. They usually, okay. you know, got the first level and then went Double hustle. sword vagabond. <clears throat> not what Custing. Ranger necessarily wanted right now, but it's Absolutely. not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> but Ranger would have preferred, you know, that boot for questing or the hammer for crafting. Mm, you know. But Granitaf, does he get smaller so with more power or bigger with more power? Because I like the yeah. idea of getting smaller with more power. Would you want the sword across with someone this early? Oh yeah, you know, you know the birds. I birds always need to be punched. Birds. As so long as it's oh, not me. Don't. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Drew cards. Okay. <laughs> Can't hit the ranger. It's too small to see. That's true. Uh, that true. Okay, I don't have the best cards. Um. Uh, sorry. One sec. I don't think I took the victory point for the ruin. That's uh, correct. Two runes and an aid. And a quest. Yeah, four points. I want art of the ranger in Ant Man suit now. Don't write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it. Okay, um, hmm. Wait, yeah, let's just encamp. Okay, so we're doing our last encamp. I need that card draw. Um. Facing another uh, figure way station. Up here. I can't say I'm surprised three. considering there are three figures surrounding that one place. And, and I will uh, oh, yeah, there is one here. Which I don't want to. The bird card. Here. Double yeah. recruit. Okay, I see why the card draw was uh, needed. Nope, there you go. I mean, card draw is always needed. Did we just uh, intentionally flip that way station? I... No. We no. flipped everything accidentally. Let's... I mean, I could. I could see the argument for the jewelry. I just don't know if that was intentional or not. I don't think it was intentional considering he flipped the. Let's move these guys down here. Oh, oh, oh. a little bit lag. Uh, let's move these guys down here. How about the of this guy here? Actually, you know, I don't even need to. I can leave one behind. Oh, okay, Grant, I'm saying it was intentional. I'm down here. <clears throat> but oh. One. And then I will also battle here. The ambush birds? Nope. No ambush. No, that's a two. And oh, everything is one. It's okay. Ooh. Kill off those birdies. Um, and then I will move. Here and I oh no there yeah I move there and I will move hmm a little bit of a sticky situation for badgers now uh, you I do need warriors to delve it's annoying yes uh, yeah I'll do that and what's the exact wording on that let's move. Here. I'm not going to bother recovering. The exact wording 
is if you rule with the keeper warrior uh with the keeper warrior specifically then yeah I'm then you uh can flip up and move a relic i mean it's so hard to tell um, what the rules are when those words are so tiny <laughs> <laughs> Fear. I fear that which I do not understand, and my god, I do not understand badgers. I play them twice, and uh, both times it was the correct stuff. I read you do not need warriors to recover. Oh, that's really like, interesting. Like, I, um... oh, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because you need to move the relics together, so that's why there's always generally warriors there. But you can it, move and I feel like it's going to be what loses me both of my games. So, I, I, I mean, you don't even technically need to rule as long as the clearing that you're recovering. Right now, you in. don't have to worry about it. true. <laughs> I'm getting really bad card draw. Yeah. Do you understand uh, why I just can't for believe that? Or just for Delver, really. Yeah. Uh, you can battle without ruling it. Just hope you rule on the other side. Yeah. Win this turn. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll. Yeah, no, I need to get some movement going, so. Do that. I can draw four cards. Four uh, cards? Okay. I will then. I'm surprised to see that we had a move in the. Um, Retinue versus. Yeah. Right, a really good card draw. Place. I've noticed, yes. I, I think this is good. You, right. you gotta get your mobility up uh, so you can do I things. Uh, and the card draw is really gonna help Actually, for next I turn. It, and Badgers are having to quote-unquote recover a little bit here because uh, their start has been slightly rough. It's a problem with the charismatic theory. This is thinking. Should have stayed away. And then just a bad dice roll when you retaliate. Do not Absolutely. Do it. I know. I, I, it would have been interesting to see them stay away quality. instead of going down there. I was thinking about crafting a bag. Well, not that I think it was bad to go down there. Oh, it just didn't pay not. off. Yeah, yeah. No, it just Sorry, Jeremy. Off. All right. Good to see the build. Yep. Would have been real disastrous if Red's Toad did not get a build this turn. To build. All right. So first I recruit two meeples. Incident Noisemaker, I will say, well, badgers are very complicated uh, when you first start playing with them, they actually, once you understand the concepts of what they're doing, they're not too bad. I will battle. They're, they're deep, you know, they, there's a lot of depth to them, but they're not super complicated once you understand the concept of what's happening. They're honestly pretty happy with that. Yeah. Because now we can just put it back down somewhere more useful. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right, and then I built. But it... I will see. build here. Zoom tech. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say, while it is potentially helpful for badgers to remove the way stations, it is also potentially harmful because it does force them to lose another warrior, and they're already a little warrior tight. Um, and maybe they're card flush, though. Right. The fact that they're card flush means that it may be more helpful than not. But there is. For one victory point. I think the narrative has become it's always good to leave way stations, and there are times that you want to remove them. It's just hard to tell when they are. Makes very, sense. very hard. Actions will be recruit, recruit. I'm so original, I know. Lock the burrow before that causes Dear any Lord. problems. I didn't notice how uh, many warriors were in the burrow. Bridget will move. Yeah, they have been uh, recruiting up and, and preparing like that. Like this. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to go swole this turn. Definitely possible. I wonder if maybe they, they might wait a turn and maybe get the form out. For nope. Oh well, yeah. Of course they can't go swallow this turn because they they just remember uh, building here. And they um like recruited you, twice. You know what you want to craft? <laughs> yes, it's almost like I chose my homeland clearing on purpose. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to craft, and I will draw a card. But um, from the Marauders' standpoint, it is um, <laughs> if you want to play Marauders and you're a newer player, like uh, Lord of the Hundreds is a better for yes. for, I mean... for newer. It's easier to understand off the bat where um, Keepers and Iron are um, more difficult to understand from the start. But once you get them, they're um, they can be pretty smooth. Oh, goodness, yeah. yeah. But, but Lord of the Hundreds, despite having like a ton of text on the board and looking very intimidating, is a very intuitive, easy to play faction. You just have it to incentivizes punching. <laughs> well, even more than that, it's just it's a very procedural <laughs> faction. That's true. You do this step exactly as it's written. You do the next step as it's written. The next step. The next yeah. step. There, 
They, they have a very linear focus, a very procedural design. It's yeah. it's really easy to pick them up. And I mean, when the one time they do have a choice, it's between three things, where a lot of other factions are like, choose between six or choose between seven. Well, in fairness, this is the one downside of Warlord as like a, a learning faction, is they're at their most complicated at the start, when they have all their moods available to them. That's true, that's true. I wasn't even thinking about the moods. I thought we were just going for the Envoy oh, meta where moods don't exist. <laughs> All right, are we... Yeah, okay, so we, we went back there to pick up another quest. I like the questing. I'm just really concerned about... He's going to the birds, and I'll Thank leave you. my rep. About not reaching more ruins uh, quickly. I, I mean, I'm really hoping oh, that Jeremy started with... A tea in hand, and I would think getting the hammer to craft that tea would be the the primary goal at this moment. You know, that's more concerned. That yeah, okay. These quests have been great for Ranger. <laughs> Get him into um, soon. <laughs> although we do have some knowledge we definitely shouldn't have, do which is we know that the Vagabond does not have a tea. Not necessarily. We didn't see the whole hand. Yes, we did. We saw the whole hand. Yes, we did. No, I'm, I just didn't pay attention. You were busy flipping the cards over because you were like, why are you showing the hand? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I I, I mean, I intentionally try not to read that information, so. I don't. <laughs> My brain just takes Shush, it in. Shush, chat, shush. Making uh, calculations here. But, um... Maybe Ranger drew the T. That's possible. Um, but it is interesting to see Ranger, um... Also, still uh, um, aiding and doing quests, and very much phase. like still finding finding those opportunities. No, I I like what Jeremy is doing a lot. Yeah, I think I think they have a, a solid scoring pace. Mm -hmm. uh, they are making solid optimization of their items. Okay. This, I'm liking all of this. I'm going to decamp this one. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm first. I'm over here first. I don't want to put this down, but. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to see. Oh, 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 that warrior over there is dead. Uh, not only is there a T in the retinue, I think we saw a T uh, discarded. We did. I get to well, recruit, so I will recruit. Actually, I don't remember now. Twice. I'm pretty sure we did. I thought that was from his hand going back to the deck. No, I thought we saw. There's another. the hammer. There's the hammer. Here. But I mean, uh, okay, so I see why going uh, into the fox was important for recruiting orders. purposes. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so this was the big concern with removing that way station, is that it would allow this. Uh, and it did. It did. Okay, so... That's always the risk, that you're actually facilitating a recruit. Uh, so that is a little unfortunate. But at the same time, badge is zero zero? <laughs> Uh, you should still be afraid of badgers, that's especially true. when they just crafted false orders. That's going to end up being low key huge later in the game, yeah. either to enable uh, an important recover or to allow the assault well, on okay. moles when moles have buildings. You know, oh, it, no, I need to it, Sorry. It, it's just good. Move those two down there. For my wild movement, for my bunny movement, I'm going to move these two guys over here. Hmm. <laughs> Mouse. Uh, then for my wild movement, I'm going to go over here. What? What's this about exactly? <laughs> don't worry about those guys. Wait, just can... Uh, and What's then up? I will, uh, unfortunately I have to get rid of the card, but I'll recover both items. I see. I just, I guess we just did not do a battle in Delve. Um, so my brain was, uh, confused for a second. Because I was like, how did you just do three movements in a row? No, that's, that's fair. You're, you're totally right. <laughs> Um, and that's because we decided I, to not battle and delve. I would appreciate if Demonic was stating like the the column transitions slightly more, but that's okay. It's not a huge deal. What crafting suit piece? Mouse the battle. I would think. I'll put a wall into the movement. Okay. Okay. I don't know how Demonic manages to not place cards. the card on the snap point. Oh, Magic every time. It's it's interesting. I don't know what's going on there. It's magic. All right. Are we going to Eerie? Well, the good thing, all the T's are gone. Uh, <laughs> Did, he didn't delve Granitap. Yeah, he... but this still scares me. Recovered. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I uh, but he should lose the recover card. You're right. He did. Oh, he did. Yeah. No, he put another one down. He put another one down. Yeah, because he he said, unfortunately, I have to lose the card. Was the words that he said while doing it. But these are the same cards that were here when he re recruited. Oh, you're I've right. I've lucked out with being in the right uh, clearing at the right time. He knew he had to discard the card, but he said it out loud. Right. The table's got to catch it too, though. That's true. It's on everyone. That's true. Yeah, Jeremy, sorry I won't be crafting the card you gave me. I don't oh, no it. expectations there. <laughs> oh, did he, did he give you the hammer? No, no, no. the... The hammer is here. At the the, top of I the found the hammer. hammer yeah. Like that, that is very important for him. Yeah, I've drawn. I mean, if I was the vagabond, I would be so happy. I've drawn such great cards. <laughs> You've drawn so many cards. Imagine if vagabond true. drew that many cards. That is true. That is true. I prefer not to. Uh. <laughs> not drawn the right suit. Pretty much, why I had to go over here because I had the foxes. I wonder if, um, I know that the monarch was saying that he, he had to go into that clearing to All right, the boxes, I think I'll but get, I'll, I'll I wonder if part of it was also, it. I want to get away from these eerie because they keep punching. Yeah, that could be. I, I right, wouldn't so, be surprised because I would not want to be near the eerie. To anywhere to a mouse. Ooh, player. a suited recruit. Dangerous. Especially in mouse, which, um, I, I don't, feel like. I don't think he did live off the land either, Granite. That's a good point. He needed to move. From Fox. Because we should have lost one from here. Yeah. And from anywhere. I will now battle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Okay. I'm not the focus right now. The Vagabond is getting three points next turn minimum. So right, now he ambush it. right now he ambushes I turn one. Yeah, but you don't have to. I can't prevent that. Okay. You... No, you don't need to move into this clearing. You can move into the Vagabond. That is a bit too many. Not really. Why? I mean, you've, put... you've also put it suited. Yeah, live off the land is so easy to miss. So easy to miss. Get rid of himself. Wow, I didn't realize later had released a snake faction. Because he's got a crossbow and two swords. He can go down to turn one if he wants. Fine, good table talk. That's a mage. I am not happy with how ignored badgers are. And I've. That's too much, my. Badgers have been taking some hits, but yeah. I have no rules. I'm up the north of. I think taking out those two badgers is 100% the right move. Two swords and a crossbow, so it does hurt a bit. It does, but he needs to be hit. I think Vagabond's going to have a slow next turn, and everyone's going to catch up a little bit. I don't necessarily agree with that. No ambush. If not getting, if they did not get hit, I think they could slip into the woods and get to those ruins very easily. Nice. All right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. You have a point. I do. I know. It's very sharp. All right. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm going to revert to my other point, which is that badgers, you have to be proactive. Okay, yeah. Vagabond, with Desperate Infamy, you can be reactive. This is where someone says, hey, they're reacting. And I'm like, ah, you're right. Yeah. They are really reacting. One. That was a big punch. <laughs> and I mean, I, I still think it is it's important to know yeah. the Vagabond has two two mouse quests. So Although he's got seven points hammer. just sitting on his right. board as long as he has I the items for it. Built. It's true. Uh, I like this build, though. If we're gonna put a suited a suited recruit, we gotta start, you know, reinforcing that recruit. I mean, that's also the reason that Nabonic said he should go hit the Vagabond instead, was to make sure he got that suited recruit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, recruit, recruit. So there's an argument that moles are leaving I value know. on the table by not going swole at this point. Yes. Because who's going to do anything about it? It's true. Uh, reveal the same free cards. Plus Corvid planners. And the reason you don't typically go swell earlier is because people can punish you. But if no one can punish you. Later. I, I do think you have a point. Um, Minister actions. But I understand just kind of going Wait, with the flow. Uh, 
should have done magic action before. before should, yeah, it's 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 actions then sway. Uh, Brigadier moves. Oh, that's a lot more than board already. I have one more move. Do it I... turns out we're not playing root. We're it's playing to, a. Play. Thought we're playing so reverse root. We're playing a knockoff of root, where the rules are not. almost the same but slightly different for Should badgers and moles. Change the order. <laughs> but I mean, he is charismatic, so he's crucial for forward again next turn. <laughs> you sway in bird song, Rudy. <laughs> not look to where the badgers are. Yeah, there's not much I can do about the badgers, though. <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel like badgers are as big as a threat uh, right now just because they have literally no this. relics. And they have to break through two armies either to get anywhere. Uh, yeah, so... I understand why the table is worried about them, the and has. I mean, that worry is definitely something to be Copies aware of, but they have Move literally space. no points on the table. Badgers are starting to get bogged down now, and it's going to be real rough because all the relics are down here. They need to, like, they, they needed to punch through early and Which getting... Which, they tried. They tried. In no, fairness, they tried. they tried. they uh, tried. I was just saying, getting hit by the eerie so early really... No second movement. Um, no, hindered that. Yeah. Uh, this gets discarded. I have no crafts. I draw a card and end my turn. Okay. Sweet. We're going to refresh the other two? No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's always interesting to me that you can repair um, or refresh damaged items. Because it's just, like, not intuitive. It's like, well, it's damage. I just don't touch it. <laughs> Is that not intuitive for you? No, it's not. Interesting. For me, it's like, if it's in the damage box, it's just, like, something, not something I interact with. But I'm also someone who thinks that when you re re um, repair an item, you will refresh it. So it's a slip in a loop. You're just stuck in first printing the land. Apparently. That's how it used to work. Uh... Yep. Yeah, that's allowed. Yes. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, the far as the mood didn't <laughs> See, I told you. I knew it. Now the question is, is this a hammer or a boot? Or a boot? Yeah, a boot. that's right. Neat. <clears throat> the or why is it even is a refresh? That's a good question. Stop hammer. Well, it's, a, it's like you're sharpening the, the item, so it's uh, useful again. <laughs> that's a Monster Hunter reference, I'm assuming? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I need zero T's, though. So. Uh, the more you use an item, yeah. it, it, it starts to, you yeah, know, become less sharp. And you need to sharpen your hammer sometimes. Yes, yeah, very important you sharpen your hammer. Who would do that kind of thing? I'm going to aid the badgers. You should also exhaust that. Uh... I'm not from there, you're not. Yeah, I was about to say, badgers. Moles. It's. I, I know it's weird. Like oh, I have sorry. that confusion as well for for some reason. I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna aid the tunneling mammal at the table. <laughs> I think that still could include badgers. <laughs> Unless you're throwing a, a card across the forest. Um, but they should also um, exhaust their torch because they both use the vagabonds and the badgers like true. into this. Did we get a point for that either? I know. No. Didn't also, we do we do not give the point to the bull. <laughs> Should be a 10. Um, height your pieces. Should be a 10. Monster Hunter teaches well about sharpening a hammer. I can use my ranger ability to repair three items. You still cannot do that, sir. You, 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 yeah, you, we explored. You explored. Uh, you explored already. Sorry, what's that? You, you explored, so you can't use this. Uh, you have to use the uh, torch to use your ability. Yeah, I just flipped it. Yeah, but you explored the rune, so your torch is gone. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry about that. No, I got it. Be honest. <laughs> You've been sharpening this recorder for hours, and now it's a piccolo. That's <laughs> 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 oh, an, an undefended vagabond, which was in the forest. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's fine. It's, it's just not working. What do I do? Uh, I really would have liked to have seen those other two items refreshed, because that's going to be huge huge, and as as things go on. That's true. Did uh, did they remember to get that oh, point I'm for? No. 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 
put a star next to that, no? Pop a sticker. Hey, Garth Caboose. Howdy, howdy. So I'm not going to... Yes, I am. I'm in camp, and then decamp, so I don't need to switch any warriors around. <laughs> Um, okay, switching it out, switching okay. it out. Then, how many wars have I got here? Six. Curdle Cabbage Cats were not picked. Two, yep. Three. What, is what the hell? Cards. That is insane. I, don't I didn't, and there's the last tea gone. I didn't want to go this way, but I had nothing but fox cards. <laughs> so it kind of forced me to move this way. So I can well, recruit. Um, okay. I will keep the last card. Yes, okay. So, what have I got in terms of movement? Um, okay, we do. I will remind that we have a badger there that we shouldn't have because we did not live off the land. Uh, with this many recruits, probably not going to matter yet. No. But you'd be surprised how much one. Warrior can matter down the line once you start taking uh, losses. Well, yeah, that's fine. Then I will battle the moles here. Ambush. It happens though. I'm not saying this to disparage uh, any players. No okay, even trade. Okay. And I'm assuming we're going to grab there that tablet. I will then take this item in because I rule. The three, and so of course you have the card. Okay, we lost the card that time. Good, again. good. I don't know if we stated which Why card we... Why are we, we... battling a... Okay. Three because? Yeah, and just really don't like moles. Too many moles? I would I mean, kill them all. In fairness... Totally, no, that's actually... Moles cool. have not been policed yet. I think I think this is not bad. No, I, I would agree. I would then, agree. I get to move, so let's... And once you have the relic, it's a pretty safe police, because you have... Here. You know, devout uh, knights protecting you. And I'm not going to take. Devout knights are prize trophies. Oh, actually, devout yeah. knights, yeah. Because it's a mouse. Let's go down here. Yes, All right. So we are seeing the badger migration. They are making their way around the map. I find it interesting they're doing it on two sides of the map. Yes, that is that is kind of <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> you know, you could make it down one side, but what if I made it down both? Oh, never mind. Back here. Okay, just We're retreating. Kidding. We're retreating. I would have liked to have seen us split 3-3 three, three, so we don't have to live off the land in that case. Yeah, that would, that would be interesting, but yeah, so it's not the case. We'll just happen. Yeah. Because I don't think we... I don't think this loss is necessary. But we... We are remembering to, though. I think, what have you got? Bridges? Uh, so you'd have to... Potentially four battles, but I don't think we'd waste four battles trying to eat through me. Taking out five moles on that turn is... Uh, five badgers? Moles. Oh, oh, I see. Are you talking? I understand. Was very good for the bed for the table. Yes, it was very good for the table. Uh, I'll go down here. Okay, we're changing our mind. We're going back down. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then I will throw uh, this one into battle. You know, yeah, into battle. Are we forgetting live off the land again? No. Uh, active. Oh, wait. No, gather it. New was after. Never mind. Three cards. Yeah, we're forgetting it again. Which is funny, because Demonic went to do it, and then that's what prompted him to change his plan. I had that many board cards. I'm quite, quite confused. Oh, I only got two board cards all game, and one came to the Vagabond. <laughs> I keep getting suit cards. Yeah, that was a lot of boxes. Yeah. He's very good at distracting himself, yeah. Granite Tap. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a terrific description of, of Demonic's right. playstyle. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh, apologies. I never lived off the land. Sorry. Oh, he got it. He got it. Okay, okay. He okay. just needed a moment to clear his head. It's un... Badger <laughs> cannibalism <laughs> game. <laughs> I do expect a lot of posts once Marauder ships of... What exactly is happening with Live Off the Land? Because uh, I know I know like the people who have played Badgers and like you know are really keyed into Root have their finger on the pulse. On the side of the map, you know have have seen that have made the joke the question. <laughs> uh, but I expect a lot of once once it ships and you know more people get Badgers in their hands. I expect a lot of questions out there. Oh, they're dead. Because it is the first implication, like the first thought 
Oh, when you see live off the land, it's like, like there wasn't enough food, so one person either died or got eaten. Yeah. All right. No, clearly he went to a farm upstate to get the food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think my best place to uh, the coffin keepers Ooh. to move. Locking up coffin makers into the decree. <laughs> Upstate farm map. <laughs> uh, I will craft mouse partisans and pot partisans. Ooh. Yes. yes. Juicy. I love that craft. Okay. That is no, definitely. I, I recruit quite juicy. four meeples. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have crafted that saboteurs. <laughs> I like Darth Caboose. All right, I'll go to craft it instead of putting. And the other ones in the decree. Hands are for well, losers. There are three Hands saboteurs in the deck. I love top decking as the area. I think it's hilarious. I remember for being two. There, there are definitely three. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was recruits. I will. <sighs> okay, so if I move. So I can move from Fox from anywhere I want to move to, though. <laughs> I only want to move more than two. They had coffin makers to move, right, Katari. That, that's good. And then I move from Bunny. It's interesting. Eerie seems very hesitant right, uh, to go into mole territory. Okay, battle. You're my only battle, so I... Go ahead. Tell you. <laughs> Granite tap. Yeah, Maro, you're my only battle here. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. You won. <laughs> okay, and then I will... <laughs> so, that is my decree. I will score three points. And I will draw two cards. Hmm. Yeah, as I was saying, it's very interesting to me that Eerie uh, seems very hesitant to go into Bull's territory. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, I do. There's Vagabond sitting right beside you. <laughs> oh, no. There is nowhere else where Vagabond is my priority right now. Um, I do like the general idea of swooping in here to take these clearings while they're lightly defended. But they'll uh, always be lightly defended. I, I was going to say, I almost would have preferred to see Eerie push harder up into here before Badgers have a chance to recruit in them. That's a good point. Um, I know it's potentially hurting Badgers, and Badgers don't necessarily need that uh, at the moment, but I... I think it would be a great way for Eerie to stake out some territory that's contested, you know? No, that's, that's a good point. The thing. Uh, if you don't hit you... I mean, honestly, the, the Badgers um, hitting the moles last turn was huge. Yeah. It was absolutely huge. I love the overworking and poor labor conditions uh, aspect of uh, Root. It's a good one that I don't think about often. <laughs> oh, absolutely, stuff by Rudy. Like, like the things that happen in Root are are horrifying. Uh, and nobody but they're overlooked because cute animals. Right, exactly. It gets overlooked because of the cute animals. All right. So at this point in time, do you think it might be uh, moles might have missed I... their opportunity to go swole <clears throat> a little I'll bit? The market. Nope, evidently not. Never mind. I'm just talking then... to myself. I I think what Mora was doing was that they were trying to build up a wall on either side, mm -hmm. and then they could build up here and build buildings, uh, which is a cool idea, yeah. and I like it. Uh, but it did lead to the issue we saw, where a formidable military force could just uh, plow through it. Bridge. Uh, and now you really wish you had those warriors back here but instead. <laughs> Yeah. But that said, uh, I like the build. I like this. I don't think badgers are going to seek out this building if they don't have to. Agreed. Especially I, since there's only one building this turn. I, I'm a little disappointed we're not seeing two buildings. Funny clearing, aren't you? 
The central body clearing. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I would have liked to have seen a citadel. No, 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 no. I'm, I don't. I don't read the fight. I'm a, you know, I'm a huge, I'm a huge market advocate. No, you are. But I, I almost feel like a citadel would be warranted. Yeah, I don't need to do from there. I could do from the central clearing too. This makes himself even more intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, but he's he's built a market. Uh. <laughs> With coins, and he's got his. So that's the handwritten note inside versus. Points from the market every turn. Next turn, he builds a second market, gets two points for that, then coins, that's five points. <laughs> just like, I'm gonna just put more moles in here. <laughs> it's not an easy position to play moles. Honestly, Crown, Crow, 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 that's hard for me to say. Uh, I think most of it's pretty explicit. It's just people choose not to, to read into it. Uh, no, I, got... I know the amount of times people have said overwork, and I've never really I thought mean, of the implications of that. Yeah, I mean, you are explicitly overworking, spending a card, cards representing denizens of the woodland, to do so. Uh, it doesn't get much more explicit than that. The real propaganda were the oh, few animals we met along the way. The equivalent of Einstein. <laughs> sure. I will craft this swap meat. Okay. It's a good craft. Draw two cards. Good craft. If you're going to discard anyway, discard uh, you may as well craft something. Swap meat's a good card to craft. I hope he meant discard two and not discard down to two, because discarding down to two would be disastrous. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Private partisans. Oh, we lost last partisans. Tunnels. Not sorry to see tunnels go. No. Would have liked to have seen rabbit partisans, even just as a as a threat. Mm -hmm. Like moles typically don't actually want to use their partisans, but having it, having the 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 posture of having crafted it, can be huge. Yeah. Sorry, just pondering my slip here. I'm gonna to use to go to the box here. Okay, so we're going for that last ruin. About explore. Yeah, it's a boot. <clears throat> That's a point. Maybe. Granotype, you're not necessarily wrong, but I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people have said it many times, but the Riverfolk faction, like, the, the whole trading mechanism is very morally questionable. Uh, it raises, raises a lot of, a lot of uh, dangerous thoughts. It's funny, I never actually thought of cards as, like, the denizens of the forest before, so... Especially since some of them are like describing actions and, mm -hmm. and like activities, um, but it makes sense. What is chat saying about us? I uh, chat is saying that you're all horrible people for engaging in this. <laughs> to be clear, Dennis, the cards don't always represent necessarily like individuals mm -hmm. of the of the forest, but it could be like groups. Uh, but it it, it, rep it represents connections to the denizens of the forest. Like, like... Uh, that mouse I got was in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes it's individuals sometimes it's it's like you know favor with with a group or some sort of uh debt that's owed or or like all sorts of or that one dude in a, in like a basement shack making propaganda uh Darth Kaboos, the implication is that um badgers are sending in a local denizen of the forest uh to get the relic for them and they potentially uh either they might lose their life along the way they might have died on the way back <laughs> or they might have just been like i'm out i'm not doing this anymore and just you know ditched anything like that yeah the goodwill of the denizens 
Okay, then I'm gonna do evening. I'm gonna oh, they're like, that was the last favor I do for you because I technically right. could complete the favor. Right, exactly. And I'm gonna have to drop an item. What? No. What? No. You what? do not have to drop an item, sir. You have a bag of eight. Right. What? Wait. What? What? I'm very lost. Why does Why does Jeremy think that he needs to drop an item? Because he's going up the six count of not bag. Right, birds. We have we have more than like reverse <laughs> item gate. Right Oh, there's really no point. Noticed. Satchel gate. Yeah, there's no point in me and you beating on each other. All right. So at there. this point in time, the vagabond uh, has lost so two points from two explorer and now has. No, no, no. He picked up two points here. That was from aiding the moles. Oh, that was aiding the moles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, you're leaving points on the table. So yeah, you can hit me, but I don't think I'm person need to be. I'm not angry. I just hate to see people you throwing away like. Camp, sorry. Things the that should be theirs. Is giving themselves a nerf right now. Right, right. Like, they should right. be at 13 points and they should not have lost any items. Yeah. Um, I mean, this, is, this is definitely a reverse cheat, almost. <laughs> not cheat, a reverse. Uh... It's, it's a self inflicted handicap. Yeah, Jeremy's too good handicap. for the table and wanted to give everyone a fair shot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. He's, 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 this is clearly him sandbagging. Uh, I'm not going to touch you. Just turn. I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Right. So I'm going to use false orders. Using that false order is pretty quickly. I guess we're going for. I guess we're going for that market. How? We have three moves. So That's just true. move, move. Down there. Battle, battle. Fair enough. I am not sure I can handle a force that big. True, actually, yeah. I'll put him up here out of the way. I don't want him to, uh... Yeah, he can go out there out of the way. Fine. Okay, um... <clears throat> so I will encamp... So low-key, the good part about this, it does make the building more vulnerable, uh, but it means you're not losing the warriors in the process of losing the building. Mm -hmm. uh, and low-key, the warriors are more valuable than the buildings in many cases. That's fair. That's that's a that's a good point. <laughs> recruit. I will recruit. Okay, so we decamp encamped and decamped. Box dominance to here. That's three warriors mm -hmm. and not two. Okay, never mind. And... Those badgers were so hungry they lived off the land immediately. Uh, swap me. Oh. Get out. Uh, You're not wrong, stuff, Rudy. I'm just, I'm finding the silver lining in this. Bring these guys for my wild, my wild. I Bring see. these into the center for my bunny movement. That is still a mouse movement to not bunny, but I understand what you mean, sir. Uh, then I'll bat you. Any ambush? Uh, no ambush. Scoundrel, this is your moment. Thank you, Scoundrel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. See, I gave the scoundrel a name at the start of this, and that's obviously why that went the way it did. Uh. <laughs> I like Stanley the spiritual cast scoundrel. He's a good, he's a good spirit animal. Okay. I cannot believe that just happened. Uh. All right, so here's how I feel. I don't like what just happened. Not because of the rolls, but because there was no delving. The badges are not getting anything out of this. Yeah, the fact that there's not a delve even for the second one surprises me. I would have yeah. expected at least one delve, because it seems like what we're doing is badger balling. Uh, yeah, but we still want to get those relics, and we still want to keep moving with that. And right, I, 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 that's what I was going to say. I wasn't done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're too goofy sometimes. Well, I need um, Decree, but I but yeah, like it. I would have preferred to see at least um, one relic getting delved or no, grabbing a tablet, grabbing a little. Uh, I mean, I know the, okay, the concern is losing a bird card, okay. uh, but still, it having the worst decree ever. Badgers need points. Yeah, I, I can't That's get any okay. So do the moles. It's, yeah, the moles also have a bad decree. I agree. Yeah. I, they have to add another. I, I meant to say badgers. I said I would. I mean, I, I just confused. Did we forget to live off the land again? I, know you um, I, I, feel like I think we forgot to live off the I land. We did, yeah. The moles. I don't remember seeing one move from here, but I also was busy goofing around. So I feel like the moles like equivalent to a decree in their own way. So 
No, okay, that is a very good decree then. Ah, uh, all right. I think a mouse card to move. Are we talking about badgers having a decree? So at one point in development, I've told this story, but I'm telling it again. Uh, it used to be instead of gather retinue, it was so, dub knights. So we called it the dub cree. Two mouse to anywhere. I think as soon as we started calling it that, Josh changed it to retinue, like like right away. <laughs> um, I will also point out. <laughs> I will Demonic move neither moved cards from the retinue nor added any in. That's a good point. Okay. Um, Have to move from. So I wonder if I wonder if that roll tilted demonic and and he wasn't thinking clearly. I wouldn't be surprised. Because that was I mean that was like very unexpected. It was and when unexpected, unexpected things happen, it's easy to get off kilter. Yeah, it's so easy to get off kilter. Um, but I also say I always Actually, feel like um. Move from anywhere, move from Fox. Oh. I always feel yeah, like man. I'm my own worst enemy. Okay, that's my move. Yeah. Especially no, when I get I, I get into my head, I have a plan, and if it doesn't yeah, go off, I just like forget yeah. how to play. Here. Yeah, I mean you you hear it for like any competitive thing, but the it's so important for you to to like Stanley almost four. practice <laughs> good good thinking habits, like like meditative okay. uh, uh, techniques, so that you can oh, keep can a clear be, head, to keep calm, and just get out of your own way. Uh, no. Hi, Gorky. Yes, I am back in this area of East Coast. Oh, thank you. There's still snow everywhere though, so I don't like that. What if? Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> that is not a point. <laughs> Oh, that? That? <laughs> okay. I'm not uh, quite sure. I draw two cards, and I will end my turn. Uh, oh, nice very hard charm offensive craft. And probably decide to... <laughs> uh, Gorky, we are four rounds in? Five. Five rounds in. <laughs> Meditative root. root. <laughs> Breathe in through the nose. Oh, I forgot I have his axe to con me. Kill the vagabond. Breathe out the <laughs> 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 Oh, you're up there sharing the lead. Uh, I will. I'm not gonna lie, because of the snow that's melting around us, I have to expect a giant thud from one of the giant ice pools on our house just like falling off. Ah. <sighs> I see you may as well maximize your scoring. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Meditative root is all about killing everyone else. No matter what. So... Ooh, are we pumping and dumping? Oh. I like it. I like it. I like it so much. I want to see these warriors just pulled back into the burrow. Just, just. A bit. Oh, he does need to roll. He does need to roll. You have a great point, Granite Tap. That's not legal. Oh my god, I'm going to death. No part of this is legal. Uh, what about now? This might be a, a red tape game. Um, yes, I will. Be sad, sit, sway a squire. Please do your other actions With... before swaying. Yeah, you, 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 you still do... This thing you haven't. This is a red tape game, man. This is a red tape game. <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, it is. Root is hard, root is hard. Root is so hard. Uh, I'm not, not... This is not bashing on any of the players, but... Bashing on all of the players. Exactly. Um, there has definitely been some um, sweet ministers, clerical errors. I gained three in, points for my lord. Other things. Uh, Duchess of Mud does nothing. Brigadier moves. Moves. Oh, we're defending. <sighs> But are we going to mayor into the borough? Oh, I don't want to fight with moles on top. Moles, I can. Badgers on top of a relic, but I feel like I might have to. So just abandon the clearing. So, to talk about a legal version of this turn, uh, it would have been fun to see a build over here. Uh, um, we uh, could have done a build over there. We could have done, done a move and build in there to still get the two. Um, off the mayor battle. What? Battle the badgers twice. Uh, you have. Your staunch oh. defenders, or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Max, you can kill us four. Or oh, one. Stanley is doing well. Stuff by Rudy. I'm a freaking rude expert, and I still make mistakes. Shit. Like, not all the time, but not infrequently. So, like, Root's hard. 
Chat, isn't he so modest expert. calling himself a rude expert? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, like this I did my World in War Machine interview and Jake yelled at me the whole time that I was being too modest. So there you go. This is all Jake's fault. Yeah, I think there's going to be more. Step I already, I agree. I also only make mistakes. <laughs> my whole thing is seeing uh, how, how wrong I can play something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Oh my god. I don't know, Erzad. We recorded it last week. I don't know if it's scheduled to come out next week or if they listened to it and decided it was awful and need to scrap it or, you know, uh, anything. Uh, clearly, it came out two years ago. Um, <laughs> so it made no sense. It's even better than the coin hand, just for double coin card. Ah, oh, that is everything I can do. I will draw three cards. I will discard. This. <laughs> Get rid of that this. dang false orders. I'm just gonna come over here and look at. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, that was Dominus card and yeah. Mirian. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know, I'm a little surprised about Mirian Broker, I but I understand it. Yeah, we're not we're not in a position to craft. Two buildings and mouse no. on this map. Not a position to craft two buildings and mouse. The only reason I'm surprised by that is there's still so many items. Yeah. Um, what were the uh, squid mark. It's a lot easier for moles if they forget that they need, they to, need rule to rule to build. To build. Yeah. <laughs> squid mark. They tried to hit moles. Uh, it was a zero zero and zero one. Because even if I lose, badgers will carry you home. Although over the morrow might break the uh, seat one win streak. That's true. That's true. Although I am still sad to see that uh, Vagabond is still missing two points. Yeah. And that's going to just be where they're missing points. Uh, I feel like a lot of the players are getting into their heads today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know several of these players. Uh, are absolutely fantastic. They players. they play a lot of root and and they are just making silly mistakes that I I don't think. It's much easier. Uh, they should be making for for how much they play root. Not in the sense that I'm trying to like uh, shame them. I'm just I, I think they're getting in their own way and getting stressed about the game and and making silly mistakes. And it totally happens. It totally happens. What do I got? Something on my face. You got an eyelash in your eyelashes. Thank you. I just pulled it out and I shrivelled it out of your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I live for the pain. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking about this too hard. I'm gonna modest root course. expert, Garrick. Thank you very much. There it is. There it is. Or humble. <laughs> Either works. Judge for the semifinals or finals. Darth Caboose, we get there when we get there. I don't uh, like thinking. That's gonna cost me. I've thought about it. I'm still not convinced it's a good idea because I'm still not convinced there are enough people. Uh, who know Root well enough gonna... and are able to sit there and moderate uh, the game uh, the entire time. I don't know who I Clearly, you should get Josh to come in, right? Either the Vagabond or the both. <laughs> I'm going to quest. I don't think I'm in as secure a position as you think I am. Well, I would love to attack you there, but I mean, I wouldn't wipe you out. And then I just leave the points for the birds to come in and take them. Okay, so we got our third mouse quest. And you building all the slots there means I can't do anything. Yeah, it's not very Cole wouldn't help. He doesn't know the game. <laughs> Cole would be better as a commentator than a rules uh, judge. On the first now, they need to. Uh... I don't know. I still get complaints on the video he commentated for last year, uh, where people are like, "Who's breathing into the mic the whole time?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Guys, that's Cole Worley." Do you not like the ASMR of Cole Worley's breathing? <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to... Actually, I'll leave them all down. Uh, I'm playing such a bad game. Um, <clears throat> okay. You have to remove a warrior to encamp. Yes, correct. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, no. Wrong warrior. Uh, oh, yeah. It's okay. I mean, I'm double recursion yeah. back in. I'm double recursion back in. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh... We got a double recruit in mouse. There goes okay. the coins. Uh, okay. So I will. Uh, 
Oh God, as much as I should have done. But I have to, don't I? Wild and out. Wild. Wild. And go back up there and stay there. That is in a very rough spot. Save. Partially self inflicted. It. The problem is, um, um, yeah, just, because of the mole's turn, uh, they bursted ahead and accelerated the game, and badgers are on a slow clock right now. And they were okay when things were entangled and moving slowly, yeah. but now that the game suddenly bursted okay. up a notch in speed, uh, they're in a really bad spot. I the air. Yeah. Did badgers three, get five points? Three. Uh, I knew it. Okay. They recovered a couple things way back, remember? Yeah, yeah that's four points. Here, the ambush Where's the fifth one? Birds? No ambush. Three be fantastic. Be fantastic. I don't know. No. Chairman offensive, maybe? Hmm, <laughs> that's what I was, probably. Oh, oh, okay, lag. that's fine then. The hell? Okay. That did not help. You only lose two because uh, you only I had two warriors. That in. Yeah, that's. Two. Don't lose the card because I will. People think I'm joking when I tell them to just breathe and relax. Uh, I'm very serious. Then I will. The amount of times I have to distract myself during a game just to keep my heart rate calm is, is, is high. Oof. Uh, I need to. Give me points. Two, that's five points. Total. Ten. Then I will put back in a cover there and a battle there. Okay. Okay. Decent. Decent. Solid. Actually sealing all of the bird cards. Yeah, I got lucky that turn. I actually got some bird cards. Um... Well, we'll just say this, um, the mole that he lost so early, he lost there, uh, balances out the mole that he didn't lose earlier. <laughs> or, yeah, badger, sorry. The badger that he lost there balances out the badger, one of the badgers he didn't lose earlier. Oh, I forgot to swap. Does it? No, not really. We also still need to live off the land here. <laughs> this is all accurate. Um, Tivin, are we talking about this specific game of Root, or are we talking about Root in general? What's the question? That is a great question. Oh, oh. DareDooley92, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dare Dooley. Uh, I will, now you can uh, use I'm the lizard well. emote. And we can yell. Root in general. Root yeah. is confusing. No, absolutely. There's, I mean, and... I think Root was the first rule book. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll craft this crossbow. We, um... <laughs> uh, Root was the first rule book we got that had, like, the law kind of thing going for it where it had just like um it was certainly the first one that we really like got into del delved into and and played a lot we we might have owned a couple other law like rule books before it to... but not many Bonnie and two of them oh tivin if you have that many board games it's really not that bad it's it's definitely intimidating um there's a lot of overhead but once you learn there's like five core okay, actions no, 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 puzzle. that all of the um Technically, we played magic, no, no, which is it's not a puzzle. which has a law that's Trying. much more law-like than roots. Ah, uh, yes. But that's not coming in a box. <laughs> it wasn't included. <laughs> I never seen it. Some miracle that would have won the game. But anyway, if, if you if you've played that many board games, like Both just the play the walkthrough for root. Watch some games. It's it's not that bad. You just have to grok the core rules. <laughs> <laughs> so if I move. Uh, always a chance to come upon it again <laughs> it's true there are copies in the wild believe it or not i don't believe you but yeah like there's like five core actions and once you kind of understand those each faction is really just like manipulating those five core actions in a different way but at the same time it is definitely a lot i i've come around to the feeling that root is a lifestyle game and i would Never begrudge anyone for not wanting to engage with oh, it absolutely. for that reason. But always still fun to watch. Definitely uh, always join us for the games and watch us. <laughs> wow, that one was really that. That was a little much. Nah, <laughs> you put it on thick there. Yeah. <laughs> Down topple. All right, back to the game. All right, so two battles, battle and bunny, battle here. Morrow day ambush. Uh, I, ambush. I, I, I foil. <laughs> Love it. 
Love it. Save me, Stanley. <laughs> I like how red Stanley Stan still saved him. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to ban Stanley. Stanley, Stanley in. <laughs> Stanley is too powerful. Stanley's the worst. I actually love. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, bye again. Uh, uh, wait. Stanley from Future Game. Okay. One one. Oh my God. That's the... Stanley Gate. <laughs> I still want to take Stanley in. Stanley is banned from Future Games. Thanks, Garrick. <laughs> Poor Stanley. Wait, no, who was it who lost the original VP marker for Vagabond? Because that's who's responsible for Stanley. Well, it, it despawned when we um, something happened. So. Oh yeah, that yeah. was it. Right, oh, so the recording. Like... When we start re re the recording. Uh, dear Dooley, I am the creepy stalker who sits in the bush outside of the leader offices, <laughs> watching them every day and every night. That is my relationship to them. <laughs> right. When does swap meet happen? Now. Nah. I have no. I have no official capacity for leader. I do not speak for them in any way. Uh, I just am somebody who moderates their Discord, uh, who knows the rules to root way too well, uh, and as such has developed a, uh, a casual, a, a friendly, cordial relationship with the people at Leader when I talk to them about things. That's all it is. They know who I am. We talk about things. I, I we also just really like root, and so we're like, let's do a tournament. And then we asked them if we could do a tournament. Okay, yeah, they were we'll like, yeah, cool. <laughs> I know some people in the community see, see me as an authority because I know the rules so much and, and stuff. And he talks a lot. Uh, and I and I talk a lot, but uh, <laughs> I, I should clarify, I do not speak in any official capacity for leader or work for them in any uh, way. Yeah, so. Um, and just to uh, go. Reveal this very nope. convenient oh, God. card. Uh, what are you doing here? Citadel. I'm messing everything up. <laughs> I was trying to scroll up in chat because uh, someone asked a question, but whoever asked that question, Stanley is the scoundrel piece that we accidentally spawned at the beginning of the game, Yes, and he is the spirit animal of the game. Yes. He has been manipulating the dice rolls all game. Yeah. Said it'll go as fair. I honestly wish he was bigger. Uh, second dice will be a recruit. <laughs> um, stuff I really on that point, uh, there is an amusing uh, anecdote in the interview I gave with Wooden War Machine dark. about me and Patrick Leader. <clears throat> That uh, everyone can look forward to. Do I get to know it later? Uh, I break it. You know it. You were there. I was there. You were there. One. I... What? Talk about it later. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I I guess there's nothing really left for me to do with that. No, what? hold on, for definitely is. So what, did we dig? Did we... No, we didn't dig. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. I was I'm talking too much. much. Yeah, you were talking too much. Uh, okay, we built a citadel uh, in a clearing with no moles. Boot, boot. Cold. There was a mole there. I did see that. Yeah. Morrow had a mole there. Yeah, I'm They sure. moved it out. Uh, we did not gamble, no. Oh, yeah. All right, we can craft all three of these. We can we can do a gamble real quick. All right, it's well, a... it's gonna be a two minute gamble, uh, just because we're so uh, there's only one late. Boot. Fair and understandable. So I'll keep uh, one of these. All right, people, go. if you want to gamble, uh, go for it. You got two minutes. You might have thirty seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, GG. <laughs> it's not worth. Draw three cards. Yeah, because I'll use wait. Where is the Stanley option? That's a great point, Katari. Almost guaranteed, no matter what I draw, so. Burst me. <laughs> no question. Yes, everyone, gamble on, on the foregone conclusion and then get your money back. Burst the best gamble. If I had better cards, <laughs> all game. <laughs> I've gotten shit cards. Yeah, that is oh very God. unfortunate. I, I, I just kept getting the wrong suit and I couldn't do anything. Uh, somebody, somebody bid anyone else, ten, just just to make points. it a just to make it a real bid. Whoever you are, thank you. I mean, if anyone else wins, it's a really good payout. It's true. <laughs> That's true. Magically, we can take down four roosts. I have yeah, seen the you know, um, the badgers point. go from 14 points to 30 points in one turn. Yes. I uh, don't think that's going to happen. Not here. in this board state, but um, <laughs> crazy things have happened. Okay, I've refreshed. I'm going to slip. 
Katari, you do make a good point about Stanley. Coalitions are, in fact, banned, so uh, Stanley really should not be there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's why Moro won, because Stanley coalitioned with, with moles. Yeah. So it's just already cheating in so many ways. I'm just kidding. <laughs> If somebody else got in on those very good odds of like fitting a whole other 10. Life. <laughs> I'm gonna... I like it. Shirt T, okay. thank you so much for the gift sub. A tier two sub, wow. To Johnny Spud, thank you so much. I just killed you. You know, roll better the, when I attacked you. <laughs> Rolling a second zero zero was very unfortunate. Oh, Katari, thank you for bidding on anyone else. Well, well, I see that too next to your name. I see that you did that. Stanley gets the round three slot. <laughs> tradition, I'm then going to cross both birds. No. Okay. Please just oh, actually, sorry. I want to. Um... Thank you so much, Shirt T. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. I'm not going to cross, but I'm going to battle with the sword. Your sword okay. you did, what happened? You released it. <laughs> What happened to my sword? Yeah, I oh. see it. it got deleted. Um, yeah. uh, you can just clone this one, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Cabbage, there is another game today. Tonight at 6pm Eastern Time. Uh, 6pm? It's 6pm. So that'll be uh, in four and a half sorry, hours so from now. I need a tabletop simulator. <laughs> there you go. Vagabond is doing a very good job of deleting his components today. It's fantastic. No ambush. That's good to you. Stanley, work your magic. Oh well. Is that Stanley's magic? No, not really. That's. I don't. I don't understand Stanley's magic well enough to know if this is Stanley. No, he only has one sword. I think Stanley only works when uh, it's against or with the moles. This is got it because of the coalition, right? Well, yeah, the co right. Stanley doesn't really affect anything else outside the coalition. Yeah. So I get a victory point for taking the piece out, and then I'm going to cross both the building for the second victory point. Okay. I mean, you would still have got two victory points if you did it the other way as well. Uh, with the despot, if I took out a building and a piece, I think I would have lost no, it. Uh, no, you you get an extra yeah. point for the building, because it's a building piece anyway. So you would have got two. That is uh, correct. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, it's safe. Uh, it works out. The there. order doesn't really matter in this case, so that works out, but... The only difference is taking a hit. Yeah. And then I'm going to torch at the end of my turn, for sure. For sure. Uh, dear Dooley, we are in Ohio. The sunny land of Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, I can't sunny. do anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you hate the sun. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Draw a card and that's my turn. To be fair, I also hate the sun. <laughs> Wait, why are we losing an item again? Because we don't understand how the bag works. Oh, Jeremy. Good job, moles. Yeah, good job. Oh, Is it just... God. I just spilled a lot of food and drink all over oh, my... Yeah. Uh, oh no. Go grab a towel. Yep, that is that'll be what I'll time. do. Yep. Um, <laughs> maybe the mass is in the It's just a shame, because I think, I think Jeremy's made some very good moves, and I would have really liked to have seen uh, this game stay more entangled to see how the Ranger did, because I think the Ranger was on a great track, yeah, personally. It's a failure. I'll just make a pile of my cards now. Ah, I see. Uh, Pat, watch the game again. Just uh, watch it back, man. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't summarize. Mistakes were made. Let me put it that way. <laughs> uh, Over the Morrow did not win their game one. Um, Demonic, Demonic is the only round winner. one winner. So, uh, yeah. Craft uh, builders. I will move. I move. Also, Stanley happened, yeah. Stanley did happen. We cannot understate the value of Stanley on Stanley, this game. Stanley has been such a good, bad influence. Good influence for the moles on this game, but bad influence for everybody else. Put all of his cards on the table. Actually, all the ambushes are gone. They are gone, because Wild and Bowser played, not oh, just played. Wasn't yeah. there a second bird Where, How did he Bow get... Builders. Bow Builders. Oh, Bow Builders, okay. Yeah, they're all gone, so I can battle. I just wanted to... I was just curious. Yep, Bow Builders, so... And there's uh, oh, Stanley, Stanley almost, tried. Stanley tried. He was trying so hard. He's like, Stanley no, tried. don't. 
Uh, uh, you not. you have a relic there. I do have a relic. You are right. I mean, I'm just going through the motions at this point. <laughs> I don't know, Jeremy Curry. Are you seeing? Jeremy Curry, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I let nothing happen. Oh, oh there's, there's Stanley there's at work. Stanley at work. That's how it works. Uh, I'll take that one in. I will lose the card. Stanley, too powerful. I'm gonna have to Draw. sneak Stanley into the thumbnail for this for this game. Please do. Oh God. I would I would appreciate oh, that. I won my yep. first round. Did we? I'll let him. We just skipped the buff the land and all that stuff. That's fair. Game's over. Get those points, baby. Okay. okay I'll add more to battle. I love the blue, yellow, blue, yellow battle. Yeah. Makes me happy. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking how many four. Or, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I could have literally left all the relics behind. And there would have been two points each. <laughs> like, go birds. If you can kill, a, kill those, all those tokens, you win. <laughs> oh, that would have been horrible. Is it actually? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah. Because so, yeah, six relics. There's, there's the 10 points worth of tokens. <laughs> And then you just, uh, which will give you exactly oh that is disgusting uh, i could have done it but squid I'm... mark there there's yeah. there is more to this result than just moles being moles the bangs i understand <laughs> the the mole sphere so. but let's also remember the context why, do, why did i roll what even happened okay i recruit four yeah you need to move and do all this stuff first <laughs> yep so recruit two here two here I will move. You don't remember the context. <laughs> sure, I'll move from Bunny. I mean, it's hard when you're watching these games and doing other things. It's easy to forget the uh, other time. things. That's unacceptable. If you're not watching this with your full rapt attention, you are not allowed to be watching. And from anywhere. Just have a point well, here. Goodbye, everybody. Apparently, I'm not allowed to be watching. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Uh, there's a lot of birds. Four. <laughs> Guys, he was joking. Please, don't I was very much joking. Moles. <laughs> that, that oh, Stanley failed. Stanley definitely failed there. Battle moles again. Oh yeah, Stanley giving up. Why could we get these rolls the last time we were battling here? Because that's four <laughs> points. Because it's everything. Um, uh, moles will. <laughs> That would be four points. <laughs> yeah. He only loses one card um, I, I and one. Keepers. Yeah, go ahead. Did we just did we just lose everything? What? Why are what? you why are what you are doing we... that? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is this game? Uh, no damage to me. Guys, what are you doing? It's because Overmar is not here. Overmar is not losing everything. That was somebody else. Oh, are they are they doing it tomorrow? Yeah. No, guys, you can't. Because Mara had to go clean up all the food and drink he just spilled. Yeah, but they can't just take cards from Mara's hand and stuff. Come he, on. He left them on the table saying, in case I price a failure. All right. <laughs> okay, I, I'm officially calling this game cursed. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. This is a red tape game. I told you that. Yeah, understandable. I told you this was a red tape game. Chat is screaming right now. Oh, absolutely, we are. You know why, Eva? <laughs> No, you don't know why. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> this has been very entertaining. I, I, I will admit this. I have not stopped smiling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, recruit, recruit. Uh, I go to Minister Actions. What happened I to all move. my cards? Hold on, I should have an extra mole in there. I should have two extra moles in there. That's fine. He'll just move. Uh, move. Oh. No, hold on. Sorry. This he can't win now. One less recruit during my daylight, and then I do a move then. Uh, and then I battle twice. What do you mean twice? And then I battle with Bridget. Yeah. Uh, do you have an ambush here? I have false orders. <laughs> that doesn't... An ambush. <laughs> It doesn't do anything! It doesn't matter. Uh, I score a point. God damn I... it, Stanley. Oh, I, I mean, it, it I doesn't matter. I banker for the last point. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you did make... I mean, it was over anyway, but... You it made... worked out anyway, yeah. but this is... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was... I... It was one battle. It was one, yeah. one battle. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. I was like, did he not realize he's like... I... 
I, I would have, I might have caught that if I hadn't. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's why. Okay, everything's good. good. Like, oh, three billion. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Well played. Um, well, thank you. Good game to bolts. I'm yeah. paying, paying everyone your, your money. Here, there, because you're away. But I was like, I could have king made birds. <laughs> because if I moved all out, these relics were worth six points, and he would have won the game. I was like, oh, I could do this. That would that's be rude. <laughs> yeah, that would be very rude. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it, but I just thought it was hilarious when I was looking on the board. It's like, oh, he actually could do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good, go good more game. I enjoy, I enjoy yeah, the moles. Yeah, game. moles game. are the red faction I think I'm most confident with. I just didn't mention that earlier. So, No, I mean, I would have picked the moles if you hadn't picked them. So. Yeah. Gragor of Vagamon I mean, is going to be put at 16 like because what? that is what he ended at. Yep. Vagamon. As much as I want to put him at 18, I cannot do that if that's what yeah, the board that says. Seemed like a yep. Mistake. Yep. Yeah. But also, yes, this game did break me. I was banking on everybody being afraid of crafting the items. <laughs> if only had one coins, I would have been. <laughs> But it would have made more sense. I mean, yeah, you probably should have given it to the person who couldn't craft literally any turn he wants. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, pretty much, Kraron. Pretty much. Like, oh, pretty much. Craft immediately. Uh, <sighs> to me watching the vlog later, you're still up too late. Go to bed. <laughs> well, speaking of, good game, everyone. Thank you so much for playing. Uh, congratulations tomorrow for that victory. Uh, we've decided to give your spot to Stanley for round three. <laughs> Stanley deserves it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to save Stanley. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for playing. Uh, Moro and Demonic, we will see you in round three. Jeremy and Toad, uh, I'm sorry to say that was each of your second loss, but it has been a pleasure having you in the tournament so far, so thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah thanks, everyone. Thanks to everyone who organized and put this all together. Thank you. Super fun. I'm glad. How do you save an object? Oh, you probably, uh, click the button. <laughs> you probably click the button that say, says save yeah. object. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. We will see you for the next game today at 6 p.m. EST tonight. So have a great one, everyone. Yes, yeah, see you tonight.